all right so mama bear had to come out y'all hold on so i'm like james you feel comfortable with you know asking them about how much you're going to get paid per hour because i thought for sure there would be a kitchen uh, as i mentioned a contingency offer in the in the email but that wasn't the case so we didn't know how much he was going to be making per hour um, and I asked him, you know, to ask about direct deposit. And the other thing he has to ask the person is, um, is when or how they'll be able to view their schedules. If it's something that they give you online or is it just going to be a paper? He has to get used to speaking up for himself and on his own. I said, do you feel comfortable asking? He was like, no. So anyways, when I went in there, there were like, three no two girls and they were waiting on somebody else so i'm like james can you go in there and ask them like when i should pick you up because that was not discussed at all so it's just like you know things that have to be asked he's like and i if you guys see how he's talking like he's just so like not irritated but like i'm all happy for him and giddy up and <laughs> he's just super like not scared but nervous you know and that's coming through like how he's talking because i'm looking back at the video i'm like boy you talking to me some type of way <laughs> and he don't talk like that you know i mean he talks you know like a teenager talks but it's just like mm, just close your mouth close it close it um but yeah so he's really nervous and i'm like do you feel comfortable asking he was like no so anyways i said i dropped him off and he said i'll text you and knowing him, he's not going to even feel comfortable with asking, you know. But I know he has to get used to it. And I'm like, you good? He's like, uh, no. I said, you want me to come in? He's like, yeah. I said, okay. So as soon as I walk in, the lady said, oh, what size you wear? And he said, large for the shirt. And then uh, she's like, oh, you, well, you wanted a ball cap, right? And he was like, yeah, he wasn't even paying attention. I said, no, he said he wanted a visor. So he has to really get used to it. Yeah, I feel like me as a mom, like he always says, I always speak for him. I don't speak for him, but he's very super shy and he's not like a talker. He's not a talker. So like I speak up a lot in behalf of him, and but that's something he's going to have to learn as he's working, you know, and I'm happy that he's going to get this experience now because I'd rather for him to, you know, start a job early, learn how to talk to other people especially adults you know and just other people in general so this is going to be good for him so you know when i went in there um you know it was just like the lady was right there so he sat down and i you know i asked those questions really quick like how much are they paid per hour so he'll be making eight dollars per hour and then once they learn how to top pizzas yeah, once they learn how to top pizzas, they'll make $8.25 an hour. So today, um, I was like, oh, the first question I asked her is like, when should I pick them up? You know, and she was like, uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock. And I'm like, okay, cool. Now, I still got to go to work. So that's why I had to ask. Like, <laughs> it's just not just fun and games for me. I got to know these things so, you know, I can pick them up. But I said he'll text me and I'm like, dude. I'm thinking to myself, like, you ain't even gonna ask. <laughs> You're not even gonna ask. And it's gonna be a learning experience for him, though. So, I'm happy. I'm happy. But, yeah, I think they said that they'll just learn how to take the phones right now in registers, I believe. I believe. Don't quote me. Um, But, yeah, so he'll just be here for, like, an hour like hour and a half two hours so i'll go home work on the phones for just a little bit i guess it's kind of iffy like should i even just go back home and go to work i don't know i don't know and what else did i ask her oh yeah i asked about um direct deposit like how does that work she said does he have like so there's two things he can do either i can print out something online or go to the bank or bring an avoided check so i'm going to probably when i get home i'll print i'll go on to 
the website and I'm pretty sure I can just print out the paperwork for the direct deposit and then when we come back I can give it to them so hopefully I don't know if she'll do it or not but it's just like yeah mama bear had to come out y'all like I, I'm trying to teach him like come on now I mean, I mean I know it's gonna take some time for him to ease on in but once you start a job you gotta kinda you know you gotta get used to talking to people asking questions you don't know things don't just let things slide mama is not always going to be there <laughs> i'm not always going to be there you know but he's he's good he's good so at least he's he's not the only person there there's a, there were two girls and there was a guy there on a the computer i don't know if he was doing something for there or not i don't know but yeah but the trainer's super cool and yeah, that's it, y'all. That's it. Just wanted to update y'all. And oh, really quick. Excuse me. We did go to Walmart. And Walmart was cool. We went and returned back the three pants that he can't wear. We tried to see if there were any other pants he could wear or that he could like in the 3630 size but there wasn't any um that we found immediately outside of like the dress pants but he was kind of get like some cargo type of like some worker type short uh shorts or worker type pants not jeans but pants that would be okay for him to wear um that's on the back burner because the one pant that we did find outside of the dress pants it had like um in the crotch area already there was a tear so i was like eh. <laughs> i said well i'll go to another walmart later on and we'll find some more for him um and then we got him um a belt we got him a belt and that's it um, the new shoes that I did buy him, like the non-man brand shoes, uh, I had to tighten them up more so that they won't be as floppy. Because when he first put them on, he just put them on and tied them up and then like, you know, adjust them. So hopefully it, those are comfy for him. I told him to try it out and see what happens. But he said something was like hurting, so he fixed it. So I'll ask him when we get back home. He didn't want to wear his white sneakers because I'm like, you got to wear sneakers that's going to be good. He's like, oh, I can wear my other sneakers. But between us going to Walmart and coming right home, I'm like, you're not going to have time for all that. You can do that later on if that's what you choose. But like right now, you have to have something that's going to be decent, that's not dirty, and have to go home and, you know, do like trying to teach him like you have to get to work early or at least on time because we can't just we say oh we're 20 minutes out so we got we got enough time we can leave when we have 20 minutes left no because you don't know how traffic is going to be or anything like that so you know these are things that he's going to learn and i'm not trying to be bossy or anything but it's just like now this is real life boo boo <laughs> this is real life like you got to be on it you know if that's something that you wanted to wear yesterday then you should have you know cleaned them yesterday but yeah y'all i'm not stressing it i'm not stressing it so i think i'm gonna go to work even if it's only for half an hour at least i can get that done um and then i can come back here and be ready for him so yeah 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 i'm hungry i'm gonna go home and eat my dinner it's 3 302 right now. And yeah. Alright, y'all. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.